Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Claudia and I'm here with another amazing eyeshadow video. Today we're going to be talking about Pinker Times Ahead from uh, Too Faced. This uh, eyeshadow palette was uh, something that brought a lot of good memories to me because even though this palette wasn't the one that introduced me to color, it was a palette that was very similar to this one that introduced me to color because it was just not too bright and not too intense and I was able to to uh, learn how to introduce myself to brighter colors. Um, this palette, um, it's one of my favorites. I saw it somewhere on the internet and I decided to go ahead and get it. Um, I just absolutely love it. I feel like this palette was intentionally probably made for uh, somebody who is not used to um, color. This would be an introduction. This would be a perfect introduction to color because it has shades that are buildable and there are shades that you can easily just, you know, dip your brush once and you get uh, enough uh, pigment that it won't look too loud but you can also build it up and uh, you get your beautiful beautiful shimmers oops oh my gosh I do not want to ruin it and I stuck my nail in it anyway so we're gonna see it this one's this one this one and this one so this three shimmers are going to be more of a toppers they're not all toppers but um, they, uh, for example, this one, the green one that I'm wearing right now on this part of my eye, it's just absolutely beautiful. It really does pop out. I mean, it is something that is going to show the color, is going to show it in, a, in an amazing way. And it has this beautiful, beautiful blendable um, shades where you can, you know, just to blend out the edges and everything. It has absolutely beautiful shades. And those shades are, you know, I mean, you really are going to have to think about how do you like color. If you're into your pinks only and you don't like peach, this will not be your palette. But it's kind of a peach pink sort of a thing. So it's the colors that I absolutely love. It's got that blue, but the green is just an absolutely beautiful addition to the whole pink and peach thing because it makes it look so much more spring-like. And uh, I mean, you can really just even mix it up even with this darker color right here or even this darker color this is absolutely beautiful it looks like it was some sort of uh, um some sort of icing like a baby cake icing I don't know it's just baby pink beautiful and it's something that uh, I absolutely love I would absolutely recommend it I don't think I have ever since the first um, eyeshadow palette that I got introduced to I don't even remember what brand it was from because it's so so long ago um, and uh, they probably don't even make it anyway but anyway I just love it and this one is the one that uh, reminded me so much of that one palette that I had that introduced me to color and I absolutely love it if you guys want to see uh, the tutorial about this eye makeup that I'm wearing um, stay tuned and I'm going to be posting it right now so have fun okay so we're gonna start with this shade right here I will like I said I will not be saying the shades because they're very um very blend right here I can't read them without my glasses and I can't uh, wear glasses while I'm doing my eyes of course so I'm just gonna be showing you uh, this is the shade that I will be starting with and I'm gonna be starting with it on my um, crease right here so um, give me one second I'm gonna grab my mirror so I'll make sure that uh, you can see so I'm just gonna blend this um, onto my uh, crease to make sure that um, that it gets delivered all the way. Okay, now we're gonna move on with this shade right here. I had to dip three times onto that one to achieve um, this shade right here. So if you want it deeper, you can always um, go ahead and just build it up. Now I'm gonna go over here on the bottom and I'm gonna bring it um, all the way up here but also now passing the first uh, layer of color that we put on. So just making sure that um, that is kind of, uh, you know, not doesn't look like I stopped uh, just suddenly right there, just like, you know, so it doesn't look harsh. And I also had to dip um, into that shade three times. So we are looking good. I mean, like I said, it is, um, it is, your introduction to like color if you're not really uh, familiar if you're comfortable with much color this will be the perfect palette 
I am going to dip into this shade right here, this shade right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it um, like right all over everything that I did just to sort of blend it out. I know that it looks a little bit more harsh than it really is because of the light, but it really isn't. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna dip into one of the darkest shades, which is this one all the way over here this shade right here and I am going to apply that one with this pencil brush and um let me grab another another mirror so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh put this on the what I call my imaginary v line which will be from here over here so you are going to draw uh, a v and then you're going to fill on that V right there. Do not go more than maybe say an eighth of your um, a lash a line over here on the corner and then just kind of blend it upwards to give it um, a slight little more of a depth. And so as you can see, we can see that I gave it a little bit of more depth right here. And so you're gonna grab your brush and you're gonna bring that all the way up here. Oh, let me take my hair out of the way. So you're gonna bring it all the way up here so it lifts the eye a little bit. That's what I do. It kind of helps me a little bit. And do the same thing with the other eye. Okay, now that both are right there, I'm gonna go back into that shade that I told you about right here and grab the same brush that I did to kind of blend the whole thing and do it all over again, just to kind of um, give it some sort of uh, symphony. I love how it looks kind of peachy, kind of pink. I'm gonna go with the same shade right here that I've been getting and um, I'm gonna go along the brow line just right here just to make sure that I erase any harshness along the line where I've been having all this color. Now we're gonna pick our, um, I, I will pick a shimmer. Um, as you can see, there are different ones. I kinda like this one because the color of my shirt has green and I feel like it would go perfect. So I'm gonna pick that shimmer just to put it right here on my lid and put it all over here. I'm gonna start from here. And it's a very beautiful color. It's a very, uh, very subtle green. Um, it looks not too vibrant, so it won't be something that you will feel uncomfortable wearing. It's something very subtle, uh, something you, you're not gonna feel like out of your element if you are not used to wearing color. Uh, however, it's in the more shimmery side, so if you're not used to shimmers, this would definitely be the way to uh, to introduce you to them. It is not extremely, I mean, it's not like it's foil or anything, so it would just introduce you to it. Your finger is definitely going to deliver it the way you would want it to be. So I would uh, suggest you to use your finger for this one. Um, for me, it's working better with the finger. I mean, I, I suppose you can always wet your brush and uh, try it out that way, but it's working out for me with my finger better and I can always wipe it off with a napkin or something. So what I do is I go all the way to past half the eye, so I got about three quarters and then make sure that I cover that, um, the darker, deeper shade that I applied on the V. And then I grab my uh, brush the one that, where, that I used to do the V and I use it to slightly, just barely touching right here to sort of blend. And it looks really, you know, really good for my shirt. It looks very springy, very beautiful. It doesn't look overdone. Um, in my opinion, I'm gonna do my other eye. Now is I'm just gonna grab one of this uh, brushes, really, um, you know, really slim angled uh, brushes to put uh, eyeliner. I usually use this uh, Urban Decay um, it's an eyeshadow. Uh, it's black. You just can, or you just can get any um, of your 
uh, favorite or whatever you use. If you want to use eyeliner, it's fine. I use this one because um, I feel more confident uh, that it won't deliver, you know, such a harsh line. Um, sometimes I wear eyeliner, but um, for the most part, I use this. Uh, you know, I have sort of hooded eyes. So what I do is I open my eye and I just uh, look the way that I would normally look and go over right here, whatever the fold of my eyelid goes. And right underneath that is where I paint my line, where I know it will be visible at all times. And um, and so I just kind of kind of fill it out, making sure that I don't go over it. Because if I go over it, then it would look, you know, not done right. And so this is it, you guys. This is the look that I came up with uh, using um, uh, the colors and this palette. I think that this is an absolute winner. I know that there are a few shades that are supposed to be a topper, uh, which are this one, uh, this one, this one, and this one are supposed to be topper shades. And then this one, this one, and this one uh, go on the eye a little bit more like foil. They go, uh, uh, they, they show a little bit more. So you might want to think about getting this palette if you are, um, you know, looking for something that would deliver color, but it wouldn't be too um too loud if you know what i mean if you want if you're one of those people like i was that i all i wanted was you know uh colors that were nude and colors that were natural things that wouldn't show that would look good but they wouldn't show very much then i ended up getting uh something similar that i will be making a video about from ColourPop. And uh, that's a uh, color purple was my introduction to to color, but uh, finding this one it reminded me how good it is to find a palette that really kind of um, gives you the opportunity to to be slowly and more subtly introduced to color. And I think that this palette was basically done for that reason, uh, where you're not gonna get your you know your bright pinks and your bright blues and your bright greens. So this gives you enough for this spring subtle season that is going to start and i think it's just beautiful i mean look at it it just looks amazing the colors are beautiful the, the light shows it a little bit louder than it really is but uh they're very subtle they're very beautiful and i would definitely recommend that i love it i personally like it i will be using it more i love how it goes with you know a lot of the clothes that i have because i have a lot of pastel colors in my repertoire <laughs> so i will be definitely using and um i hope that i see you guys soon if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and to my subscribers a shout out thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll see you on the next time have a great day bye bye